Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, I am R. S. Amsavalli, Assistant Professor from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. In today's session, we will be dealing with line drawing algorithms. Before getting into what is line drawing algorithms, let us get clarified with certain properties of lines. So these are the properties of line. A line should terminate at certain point and it should have a starting point and it should have the end point. So it may or may not have the intermediate points and the density of the line should be constant at all the uh, levels. And to find the intermediate points, we need line drawing algorithms. Line drawing algorithm comes in two forms. So one is DDA, Digital Differential Analyzer and the other one is Bresenham's algorithm. In this session, we will be dealing with DDA line drawing algorithm. So the main aim of DDA algorithm is it helps us to find the intermediate points if we are provided with two endpoints. So this DDA line drawing algorithm, it has three cases. So we will be dealing with that. So here is the derivation which is completely optional. So I have given the derivation like how the formula has arrived for the first case. For case 2 and 3, I have given the formula directly. So here, uh, th that is a straight line and the starting point is xk, comma ok. And if you assume that, the next immediate point is xk plus 1 and yk plus 1. So these coordinate has to be substituted in slope formula. So as per the DD algorithm, the very first step is we want to find the slope. And based on the slope value, we will opt for the different cases. So as we know, the slope formula is y2 m is equal to y2 comma y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So we want to find the slope for two coordinates. As per our uh, assumption, our starting endpoint is xk comma yk and the next immediate point is xk plus 1 and yk plus 1. So for x1 comma y1, we have xk comma yk and x2 comma y2, we have it as xk plus 1 and yk plus 1. So if we substitute our coordinates in slope formula, we will get this. So DDA line drawing algorithm has three cases. Whereas the first case is m less than 1, second case is m greater than 1 and third case is m is equal to 1. So when your m value which is the slope value is less than 1, always the x value of all the coordinates will change in unit intervals. For example, if the x value of the first coordinate is 1, for sure the x value of the next coordinate will be 2. So all the x values of all the coordinates will move in regular interval by 1. So if x value is 1, you'll, the next x value will be 2, 3 and goes on and we will get random values for y. So if this is the case, so xk, we know as per the example, we know xk comma yk was the starting end point and xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 was the immediate point. So in that case, we know that when slope value is less than 1, we should add 1 to the earlier x value. So to get the next x value, 1 should be added to the earlier x value. So the xk plus 1 is equal to xk plus 1. So here we have the slope formula. As per uh, our assumption, we have substituted those values here. So now in the place of xk plus 1, we can apply this 1 here. The equation 1 can be applied over here. So xk plus 1 in the place of xk plus 1, we can substitute it as xk plus 1. So if I am doing that, xk plus xk and minus xk will get cancelled. So for sure, I will get the formula as m is equal to yk plus 1 minus yk altogether the next y value yk plus 1 is equal to yk plus m. So altogether the formula for case 1 is xk plus 1 is equal to xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 is equal to yk plus m. And this is the formula for case 2 when the slope value is greater than 1. Here the y coordinate will be moving in unit intervals and x value will have the random values. And in case 3 both x and y will be moving in unit intervals. So we will be dealing with a problem. So in this problem, we are provided with two endpoints. One is 10, 6 and the other one is 15, 9. So now our intention is to find the intermediate point so that we can plot the line. So here DDA line drawing algorithm will help us to find the intermediate point. So as per DDA, the very first step is to find the slope value. So we have the slope formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So here we have two coordinates. So we will have 10, 6 as x1, y1 and 15, 9 as x2, y2. So we will substitute the value and the value we have got is 0 0.6 which is 
m value. So here the m value is less than 1. So we are going to opt case 1. So as per our case 1, this is the formula we have xk plus 1 comma oik plus 1 is equal to xk plus 1 comma oik plus m. So as per case 1, this is our formula. So here we have a tabular column where we'll find the intermediate points. So our first very first point is 10 comma 6 which is given in the de question directly. So we'll start from 10 comma 6 and now here it, the next step is to uh, find the next x value. I mean the x value of the next coordinate and here the y value of the next immediate coordinate. So here as per our formula in case 1 we, to get the next x value we should add 1 to the previous x value. So 10 to get the next x value it is 10 plus 1 which is 11 and for uh, y to get the next y value which is yk plus 1 we have to add with the slope. Our slope value is 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 plus 6 you will get it as 6.6. .6. So the next immediate point is 11 comma 6.6. .6. So we, we can round it off for our easier convenient for plotting. So now I can make this 11 comma 6.6 .6 as my xk comma yk. From there I will move to the next in, in the immediate point. So now 11 comma 6.6 .6 will be as xk comma yk. And again I will be applying the same formula to get the next x value which is xk plus 1 which is 11 plus 1 12. And again I want to add slope with my y value which is 6.6 .6 plus 0 0.6 as 7.2. Now this 12 comma 7.2 will be the next immediate point. So again I have rounded it off and now I will make this as my xk comma yk and I will move to the next point. So I will take 12 comma 7.2 as xk and yk. I will be applying the same formula. 12 plus 1 is equal to 13 for x next x value. For next y, y value I will add slope value to 7.2 which is 7.8. So 13 comma 7.8 was the next in immediate value. So 13 comma 8 it is it has been rounded off and again 13 comma 7.8 will be made as xk comma yk and again we have applied the case 1 formula. So we have got it as 14 and 8.4. So that 14 and 8.4 has been rounded and again we have taken that as xk comma yk. So we have got it as uh, 15 and 9. See this particular iteration has to be it goes on till we are reaching the next end point as per the question. So in our question the next end point was 14 comma 9 we have arrived that. So we have started from one point and we have reached the other point. So along the along the moving of the line we will we are making the starting end point as the first coordinate from there we have moved to the immediate point and we are making that as as our uh, xk comma yk and from that we are moving to the next immediate point likewise we are moving on till we are reaching the final value so 10 comma 6 is what given in the question and again 15 comma 9 is given in the question so these are the in immediate points and intermediate points we have found using line drawing algorithm and this line drawing algorithm will be completed only by plotting so we have to plot the line and we are uh, we can about to draw the uh, straight line but the demerit of line drawing algorithm is there is a chance of uh, dealing with floating numbers which makes the computation very tedious. Since this is a uh, uh, we are doing a problem in smaller cases so it is easy for us but when it is done in large scale it is very uh, tedious to compute the floating numbers. So this is the drawback of line drawing, uh, DDA line drawing algorithm hence for this reason we are moving for the Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. Thank you.